The winner of this fight will be declared not only the winner of the first KOK World Grand Prix in the heavyweight division, but will fight again for King of Kings somewhere down the line against the winner of the second four-man World Grand Prix tournament for the KOK heavyweight strap. Making his way out to ringside once again after a very brief rest period is Alexander Dimovsky, who knocked out his opponent, Sasha Yovanovich, after, uh, after knocking him down to the canvas a total of four times in the semifinal fight and finally winning in the third round of his semifinal by TKO. And a big round of applause here for Sanid Imamovic, the only Bosnian in the tournament. He won his semifinal matchup with a massive knockout in round number two over Alia Selmanovic. So both guys knocking out their opponents, stopping them before the final bell. Neither man made it into the finals here unscathed. So it should be a very interesting situation here who has the intestinal fortitude who has the ability to put the pain aside and fight their way into the finals and become the first world grand prix winner for the finals folks but even though this is the finals it is not yet the end of the story because there will be a second four-man world grand prix heavyweight tournament later this year has yet to be officially determined uh where that four-man tournament is going to take place i've heard rumors it could be in turkey or it could be elsewhere One thing is for sure, though, here at King of Kings, it is one night, one ring, one champion. There can be only one winner here. That's what KOK has always been about. You can see that both of these guys have some signs of physical damage on their body. It's no telling what kind of trauma they've been through. Holy cow. Look at Dimovsky throwing with everything he's got here. You never know what kind of injuries they've sustained in the semifinals. Both guys have serious power. I think that Imamovic has more of a KO power, and Dimovsky will just, he'll wear on you. He'll hang on you like a heavy weight on your back until you just collapse. Imamovic, in my opinion, just has that one-shot knockout power. He's got that going for him. So it's an interesting dynamic here in the finals of the KOK World Grand Prix is Imamovic going downstairs. A glancing blow. Ooh, he brought the knee right up into the guts that time. Oh, and he's got Dimovsky on the run now. Oh, he got clipped. Imamovic got clipped with a right hand. Several of them, and he falls forward almost through the ropes. 
How is that not an eight count? Oh, now it is. Imamovic got blasted coming into that red corner. Dimovsky tagged him. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. He doesn't have a clue where he is. He can't even come forward. How is this? No, it, the referee's calling it off. That's the right decision. Alexander Dimovsky has just won the KOK World Grand Prix, and this crowd is not happy.